It's been long rumored that Sony was working on a PlayStation phone, but after all the speculation, the real deal arrives in the form of Sony Ericsson's Xperia Play. The mobile phone is the first PlayStation certified device, meaning it's capable of running a select group of game software under the PlayStation Suite banner. Currently exclusive to the Verizon network, Xperia Play is a fusion of the latest in mobile phone technology and portable gaming, but is the pairing enough to lure you away from your current handheld device. Xperia Play runs on the latest version of the Android mobile OS Gingerbread, and the majority of the applications and features are comparable to other current Android phones. Your battery's mileage will vary depending on the applications you use, as well as your settings, but in the time we spent testing it, the device managed to last almost an entire weekend of moderate activity on a single charge. The casing comes in a sleek black finish that's stylish and certainly more appealing than other portable gaming devices. It's also highly prone to smudging, so you might want to consider protective measures for the screen and case. The limited 400 megabyte internal storage capacity can fill up quickly for heavy media users, but the handheld also supports external micro SD cards up to 32 gigabytes. The rear and front facing cameras are substandard, producing lower quality images and photos than those of comparable devices, and there's no HD option. However, the speaker quality is quite impressive, calls are clear and easy to hear, and media files never sound muffled. A few other noticeable components are missing, such as an option for HDMI output, and there's no support for either Sony's DNLA or Verizon's own LTE network. There's no denying that the Xperia Play sports one of the best control interfaces available on a mobile phone. The slide-out gamepad is virtually identical to the PSP Go's layout, and the only real issue is the placement of the shoulder buttons, though it's only a minor inconvenience. However, the touchscreen interface isn't as responsive as the ones found on Nintendo's own 3DS and DS hardware. Additionally, the device succumbs to some brightness issues even after tweaking the settings, so it can get difficult to make things out in less than optimal lighting conditions. Our Xperia Play review unit came preloaded with a handful of games, ranging from Madden to Crash Bandicoot, but overall, the launch lineup is a bit thin. There's no option to transfer games you've already bought on PlayStation Network like PS1 Classics or original PSP games, so be prepared for some double dipping. In fact, the device has absolutely no support for PSN, meaning no trophies and no friends lists. While a few games we played feature local and online multiplayer via Wi-Fi, none of them approach the level of comprehensiveness you'd expect from a dedicated game system. We also encountered some performance issues. The PS1 stuff runs fine, but more advanced games tax the hardware. Simply put, the games we've seen so far on the Xperia Play aren't quite at the quality level you'd expect of a dedicated gaming device. This could change down the road, but right now, decent enough as it is for a phone, the Xperia Play is not going to serve as a substitute for a traditional handheld like the PSP or 3DS. Yeah.